If you remember, we have talked about enum and I have also mentioned that enum is a class, right? So does that mean we can extend an, any other class? Uh, the thing is no, that's, the, that's a thing which is not suitable here. You can't extend enum with any other class. Apart from this, everything is same. That means you can define methods, you can define constructors. That's right, you can create constructors, you can also create your own variables inside the enum. And that's what we are going to do here. Okay, so what I will do now is, and there's one more thing, you remember, with enum, we have used certain methods, right? Example, if I come back here and if I say, uh, status was the object s. Okay, here, let's do it here. So if I say s dot, you can see we'll get some methods here. And we all know that by default, every class in Java extends object, and that's why you will get the hash code, and then uh, two string methods, which is here. But what about this methods? Ordinal, uh, name, and then, uh, compared to, now from where you are getting all these methods. So by default, enum in Java extends a enum class, okay? Uh, let me just prove that to you. I will just print it here, s dot get class dot get. So what I'm doing is I'm just print, I'm getting the class name and the super class of it. So I'm just, I'm just trying to print the super class of our class enum. And I will just, compile and run, you can see it is enum. So enum in Java extends enum class and all those extra methods you get it from enum class. Okay, now once we are good with this, let's treat our own class as enum. And I will do a different example here. Instead of using status, I can, let's try to use laptop because we have to use some constructor and stuff, which makes much more sense with the laptop. And let's say we have some laptop models, which I, which I love. Uh, example, MacBook, then we have Dell XPS, then we got Surface, not a big fan of Surface, but it's a Surface, uh, the Microsoft laptops, and we have ThinkPad. I used to love ThinkPad when it was with IBM, but anyway. Okay, so we got this constant here, right? And then what we can do is, let's say for every laptop, I want to define the price as well. Now, how can we do that? So what we can do here is, just after this MacBook, because that's an object, right? So just after this, I can say, hey, MacBook will cost you, let's say $2,000. Uh, XPS will cost you around, let's say, uh, $2,200. XPS are a bit costly. And Surface is, let's say, $1,500. I'm not sure the cost. And let's say ThinkPad is $1,800. So we got this cost for this laptops here, right? And then, okay, it gives you an error, but we'll solve that error in some time. Now, first of all, what is that error? See, we are trying to say that this is a price, but how will your enum will know that you're talking about a price here? Now in this case, what we can do is, let's create a variable int price so that we can have an instance variable. And then if you observe here, don't you think this is a constructor? You can see it says that a constructor of laptop. That's right, we can have a constructor here. So when you create the object by passing a value, that's what we are doing here. We are, we are saying these are the objects we have and this is a constructor where we are passing a value. Okay, that means I can simply ask my editor, hey, you know, I need a constructor here, which takes the price. And yeah, we got a constructor. And now you can see there's no error. That means whatever value you're passing here will be assigned to this price. And the beauty is this laptop is a class and all these are objects and every object will have a different value for the price. It's not like once you define price for one object, it will be applicable for all. No, that's not the case. And once you have this, let's get back to our main. And here, let me create a laptop lap is equal to, and let's say by default, I, maybe I want a MacBook here. And once you got the hold of MacBook, I can, let's say I want to print. I want to print lap, which of course it will print MacBook. Let's try once. Yeah, it prints MacBook. I also want to print the price of it. Oh, now that's tricky because the price is private. And we have seen that, make, make sure that your variables, the instance variables are private. How do we access this? Now, one way to do that is with the help of getters and setters. The only problem is, can we use them here? Yes, we can create our own methods. So what we can do here is I can right click and I will say, hey, I want a getters and setters. Basically, you can change the value as well. Okay, so that means if I want to print the price, I can just come back here and I can print lap dot get price. Now this is specifically for MacBook. So if I use a different object here, I will get a different price. And with that, if I try to compile and run, you can see we got 2000. Now what if you want to get all the laptops? Okay, let's try. So I will just comment these two sections. 
First of all, you need to get all the laptop. That means you need arrays. So it's the laptops. Or in fact, you know what you can do? You can directly use a loop here and you can say laptop lap colon from the laptop. So this is the enum. You want all the machines or all the constants. So how do we get all the values? So dot, oh, we have seen this, right? We can use values here, which will give you the array and one by one, you can fetch the value. So what you can do is you can print the object and also uh, you can print the price. Let me print the price. How do I get the price? So it's a lab dot get price. Okay, I hope this will work. Let me just verify once. Yeah, we can do that. So I'll say compile, run. You can see we got all the values. And at any point you can change the value as well. Okay, so you try that. So try to call set price and pass a particular value here and your price will change. Okay, there's one more thing. Uh, what if I don't specify the value for surface? Let's say we have a surface here and then I don't mention this value. Now what will happen? You can see we are getting an error. Why? Before it was working. The thing is, see by default we have a default constructor, right? The moment you mention a parameterized constructor, it says, hey, if you want to get a constant, you need to set the price now because you have a parameterized constructor. There's no default constructor here. So you can say, okay, I know how to solve that. You can create a default constructor here. So you can just right click and say source action. Yes, I want a constructor without the price. Okay. And you can see we got a default constructor here and it's your choice if you want to specify some price here. So you can say price is equal to, let's say minimum $500. You can specify those things. And now if you can see the price for surface will be 500. Even if you don't mention, you will get a default constructor. And the beauty is you create four objects. It will call the constructor four times. This constructor three times and this one once. Let me just prove that point. I will just try to print something here. I will say in laptop. And let me also print the object name itself. I can just say okay, this dot. So we got a name here. Let's try to see if this works. Compile and run. Okay, can so see that we got the name as well. So it says in laptop, MacBook, in laptop, XPS, in laptop, ThinkPad, but not Surface. It's because Surface was created with the help of default constructor and we are not printing anything there. Okay, so that's how we use it. And mind you, we are using it as a private constructor, not a default or the public. It's because we are creating the object in the same class itself. And that's how the private constructor works. You can create the object in the same class. So yeah, that's it from this video where we talked about enum with uh, a customized constructor, instance variable and methods.